Lama to Jamania watching on real TV. Naga who president HKG Momi who recently met centers interlocator for Naga Peace Talks AK Mishra and then a CNIM leaders in Delhi informed that talk is on the track and progressive. Speaking exclusively to Hornbill TV, Jumomi said the Hoho told interlocator that the core issue must be resolved because without resolving core issues, there is no point of any agreement. Jumomi said the separate Naga flag and constitution is not a demand, but it's a part of the framework agreement. Confused, the NSNIM is demanding flag and constitution. But to our understanding, it is not a demand. But uh, according to their version, the flag and the constitution is part of the framework agreement because the framework agreement says that the India and the Nagas are two separate entity. And to have their uh, entity, they are saying that they should have our Naga people should have their flag and constitution. So this time when we ask the interlocutor to touch the core issue, core issue means for the uh, ongoing peace talk, it is flag and constitution. I think the government of India may take it serious, take into confidence, and uh, they are going to resolve this issue also. Mm -hmm. that, is, uh, that is how we expect the positivity. Okay. Because uh, either from the NSNIM or interlocutor, they cannot tell us exactly, because uh, before the outcome of the result, they cannot uh, tell us exactly this will be the uh, outcome. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever they have resolved, that will be after resolution only, we will know. Okay. But uh, from both the sides, they said that uh, this time's talk is very much in progress and very much positive. Okay. So we are. The Kifri Area Students Union and other organizations in Kifri District undertook a walkathon organized by the Eastern Naga Students Federation on October 7 in demand for a separate state at the public ground in Kifri. The deputy leader of the ENSF, Chum Tsase Sangtam, highlighted the issues being faced by Nagas in the eastern regions on grounds of historical rights, constitutional provisions and what was claimed to be political deprivation. The Kemyongan Students' Union also conducted the event at the local ground of Noklak headquarters on October 7. Similar events were conducted in Tizit and Twensang areas. <laughs> School Primary Health Center Ko Lang Kara Kalakchona Licho Hazari Adamona S School PSC Highway Sa Ashina Muchina Licho Nagaland Statute Ek Number 27 of 4th September 1962 Nimong Suchena Nagaland State Sa 1st December 1963 Nimong Eastern Nagaland Region Nefa and Naga Hill District of Assam Yoradana Full fledged state Kangcho. Tanya India government, Tingsang district, the Eastern Nagaland, Achibi Katujona. Eastern Naga Student Federation, headquartered Tingsang. Now, dated 7th October 2022, to the Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi, Government of India, South Block, Rasina Hill, New Delhi, through the Deputy Commissioner Kifri Nagaland. Subject Memorandum. Honorable Sir, while taking delight in conveying our warmest greetings, the United Sangdam Student Conference and Apex Student Body of Sangdam Naga Tribe under Eastern Nagaland is constrained to petition this memorandum to your esteemed office in the regard frontier Nagaland statehood demand. What? No 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 We want We want Nagaland Directorate PhD, PWD, 
কিছিন ডাইরেক্টর আছে ইমান ডিপার্টমেন্ট আছে একটা ইস্টার্ন নাগালেন্ড নাই সব ডিমাপুর কহিমা ডিমাপুর কহিমা নাগালেন্ডে একটা রেলওয়ে স্টেশন আছে ইটু বি ডিমাপুরে আছে আর আমি ভাবনায় কুশলে নেক্সট রেলওয়ে স্টেশন তো টিজিতে হব বনাইছে কুসুম দিন লাস্ট সাম মাস এগো ইনোগ্রেট কইছে ইটু তো কোতে আছে ইটু বি সুখবি জম্মু কি দিমা তাতে ইনোগ্রেট কইছে তো এয়ারপোর্ট এয়ারপোর্ট লাগা কথা কই আছে জাহাজ বিরা আমার ইস্টার্ন নাগালেন্ডে একটা জায়গা বি নাই ইটু বি ডিমাপুরে আছে The Chang Widoshi Setang or Chang Students Conference also issued a copy of a letter addressed to the Prime Minister of India appealing to him to look into the aspirations of the people of the Eastern Districts in regard to the demand. After the event, a memorandum was submitted to the Deputy Commissioner of Kifiri. The Yimkyong Akuru Arihako hosted a walkathon in Pungro town while the Tikir Students Union hosted a program at Kyosam town. Amid the ongoing protests of the Meghalaya Government Lower Primary Contractual Teachers Association, the talks between the state government and agitating teachers failed. However, Meghalaya Education Minister Lakim Rumpoy on Friday sought a report from the district administration on the tear gas incident, which the agitating teachers were marching towards the state secretariat building. The agitation teachers, agitating teachers, on the other hand, did not take prior approval from the district administrations to demonstrate such a protest by leading the way to the main gate of the state secretariat building. The education minister also assured the agitating teachers that aid condonation will be given to the teachers so that they can appear in the Meghalaya teachers' eligibility test. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. 
Home Minister and Education Minister comes forward and expresses his uh, uh, his stand, and also the Chief Minister should express his stand as to what uh, the government uh, plans to do with the teachers. Do they continue with this kind of suppression and also with this kind of uh, an attitude of arrogance, and at the same time not uh, being able to even uh, adhere to the norms and rules uh, when it comes to handling the law and order situation in the state? So it's highly condemnable, and uh, various quarters have even demanded the resignation of the Home Minister and also Education Minister. But I feel it is a collective responsibility of the entire cabinet. And all the ministers. A home minister, Lakman Rimbo, he, who is additionally uh, holding the charge of uh, education, he has also mentioned it clearly that the government cannot reinstate these teachers. And the secretariat, entire secretariat has turned into fortress with so, so many police officials standing at the entrance of secretariat, but the teachers are also here. Petition for condemnation of age for those who have passed and that I told I will make sure and today I convey to them that the government will condone the age for those uh, who are on the wrong side of the age for recruitment process. So I have conveyed to them, we have tried to, to, to do the maximum possible from the government. Uh, the, as, uh, the question asked why when the RTE mandated, is mandated since 2012, uh, 2010, why conduct the MTN in 2019? We conduct because we don't want to, to discontinue that the service of contractual teachers will discontinue. We want that uh, for them to attain the minimum qualification as set up by the regulatory authority, which in this case, it is the NCTE. So what, what they request me that they request the government, not me, that uh, to consider to find ways and means. And as I said, for the last four years, we have tried, we have helped, and we will help in this uh, age condemnation, uh, which under the, under the matter of law, we will try to help. But beyond that, it is a contempt of court. Sir, because they were coming to Secretary of Government has told Tear, and this police has thrown tear gas. Whatever happened yesterday, the Home Department is taking the report from the district. Uh, the Home Department is seeking the report from the district administration so that we will know the true picture of what happened yesterday. Because there are two sides. One is that uh, Section 144 is being imposed and permission to march have not is not been granted and in spite of that there is a violation and what happened after that what you see through in Kardagas, all this thing will come up we'll see the sequence of event and then if anything any person violate the law go beyond the ambit of the law uh, we are here not to uh, protect anybody but uh, the new legal process will follow Earlier on Thursday, police fired tear gas on at the agitating contractual teachers and their family members and children who took out a protest march to the Secretariat against the Meghalaya Democratic Alliance government's failure to reinstate their services. Pregnant teachers were also among those affected by the tear gas and Lati charge incident, which has drawn severe criticism from all quarters of society. Kasi Students Union and other NGOs who come who came to extend their solidarity with the protesters have strongly condemned the use of excessive force against the teachers and children and demanded action against those responsible for issuing such an order. The opposition All India Trinamul Congress too condemned the incident. AITC legislator and opposition chief Whip George P. Leongto visited the aggrieved teachers at the protest site and condemned the use of force against the educators of Meghalaya by the NPP-led MDA government. The inaugural session of Young Leaders Connect 8 was held today in Manipur with the theme Northeast India 2030 towards India's innovative and sus sustainable growth. The Chief Minister of Manipur, Nbiran Singh, was the chief patron of Young Leaders Connect 2022. At the event, Nbiran Singh appealed to the people of Northeast states to think of what they 
as a citizen have contributed to their country, rather than thinking of what the country or the central government had given them. Such change in their thinking will increase their contribution to the country's development, he said. The Chief Minister mentioned that the region has the potential to be another growth engine for the country in the 21st century. Whole Norris were facing the insurgency problems widely, which is very much affected in many parts, mainly in tourism industries, and particularly taking the advantage of today's sun club, I want to appeal to the people of the entire Northeast, including our Manipuri peoples, Manipur state peoples, that in our mindset, one idea has been adopted on regular basis that what the nation, what the center or what the state has given to us. We never thought, we never think about what as a citizen, as a man, as a person, what I have contributed for the state or for the nation. No one thought it, no one. That is the concept which I want to change. We have to change it. When this kind of mindset comes to change it, then automatically what Pemaji brief the details about the sharing contribution of the, from the Norris will definitely increase it. Also speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, Pema Kandu, who is also a governing member of NELC stated that the time has come for the Northeast region to play an important role in our country's resolve to achieve the $5 trillion economy. He also mentioned that Northeast states has 8% of country's geographical area with 4% of its total population. He mentioned that the region contributes only a small share in national gross domestic product. India's total food grain production, domestic and foreign trade, and also India's total export. Our contribution is just 3% of national GDP. We produce just 1.5% of India's total food grain production. Given a huge potential, it is really surprising that the region get only 0.5% domestic tourist and only 0.8% foreign tourist. Our share of industrial output is just 3% of the countries and our exports are only 0.2% of India's total export. So today as we discuss, I have more questions than answers. Number one, how can we increase our share of contribution to the national GDP in achieving the 5 trillion economy? Which sector should we focus on? Number two, can we increase the food grain production from the present level of 1.5? Are our policies matching with the ground realities? Number three, despite of having very beautiful areas, why is not our tourism so attractive? Should we focus on quantity or quality tourism? Number four, do we increase our industrial output and increase our share of exports? What kind of industry should we prioritize? And number uh, five, we have to create, have we created and conducive atmosphere to support our young budding entrepreneurs. So these are questions which have no easy answers. However, I am sure in technical sessions we will find some breakthrough in understanding what is wrong and how we can overcome to realize the true potential of our Northeast region. That information technology will be the main driver in the time to come. As the Northeast is geographically challenged, we have no ports to speak of, I mean we have no access to the sea like Singapore or Hong Kong or Mumbai for that matter. 
with physical infrastructure like roads and highways and railways being less than adequate. To say the least, the future of Northeast may lie in IT-enabled services. For instance, the latest trends of digital nomads, which I'm sure young people seated in the audience will all know and must have heard of, who are people who work from home in far off places using technology and the internet could be leveraged by the NER, which has tremendous potential for tourism also, to say the least. Two influential Muslim leaders of Bukhza Nagar Assembly constituency in Tripura have joined the state's royal scan. Pradyot Kishore de Brahmand led the Braha Indigenous Progressive Regional Alliance or DIPRA on Friday. This comes as a major blow to the opposition CPIM. Apparently, the fledging regional political outfit that successfully drove to success with its demand of greater Tipra land is now trying to make inroads into Muslim-dominated areas. जयन कर আমাদের যে এই বিশ বক্সনগর কেন্দ্রের একজন ত্রিপুরা মথার আগামী দিনের ওয়ারিয়ার এবং বর্তমানে উনি বিশেষ সামাজিকতা বিভিন্ন দিক দিয়ে উনি কিন্তু খুব নামের সাথে আছে সেটা আমরা জানবো সেটা আপনারা মিডিয়া অলরেডি জানবেন আজকে এই যোগদান সবার মধ্যে দিয়ে আগামী বক্সনগরে যেখানে নরেন্দ্র মোদী স্থাপনে এনসি যেটা বিজেপির এই ক্ষমতা নেই এই বক্সনগর কেন্দ্রের মধ্যে জয়ী করার কিন্তু আগামী দিনে এই যে ব্যক্তির মধ্যে দিয়ে আগামী দিনে এই বক্সনগর মাটিতে এখানে জয়ী হবে এবং সেটা ত্রিপুরা মাথার জয়ী হবে এই আশা রেখেই আজকে কিন্তু এই জয়নিং সভা আজকে আমরা আমাদের এই জয়নিং সভার মধ্যে রিসেপশন হিসেবে রিকগনাইজ করবো আমাদের প্রিয় নেতা বক্সনগরের ইমান হোসেন তো আমি ইমান হোসেনকে বরণ করে নেওয়ার জন্য আমি The leaders who switched sides with the CPIM are Imam Hussein a right rights activist and son of CPIM Central Committee member Samsul Hakim. Another senior leader who joined the TIPRA is Mustafa Kumal. Kumal is a descendant of a local landlord from the erstwhile princely regime. The leaders were accorded a warm reception at a small program in Poksunagar. Belarus on Friday denounced the Nobel Committee for handing its prestigious Peace Prize to imprisoned activist Alice Pilatsky, saying its founder Alfred Nobel was turning in his grave. In recent years, a number of fundamental decisions of the Nobel Committee are so politicized that, excuse me, Alfred Nobel is tormented and turning in his grave, Foreign Ministry spokesman Antolo Glass said on Twitter. Meanwhile, the Norwegian Nobel Committee on Friday called for the release of Belarusian human rights advocate and Peace Prize laureate Alice Bilaski, currently held in Belarus for tax evasion. Alex Bilaski is a civic leader originally of Belarusian origin and a former political prisoner, originally born in Belarusian parents in the erstwhile United States of Socialist Republic. The Soviet Union is now part of Russia. However, his family soon returned to Belarus. He has also worked as a school teacher in Belarus and served in the then USSR army as an armored vehicle driver. He has been incarcerated since July 14, 2021 on suspicion of tax evasion. Pilaski is seen as a prisoner of conscience by human rights advocates who believe that the accusations are politically motivated.
As the Tripura Assembly elections approach, various movements are increasing rapidly in the state. Of the five years of government, what promises have been fulfilled or what promises have been neglected can be understood by looking at the movement speed of its period. Unemployed individuals who have passed the STGT examinations have been editating for the past few days, seeking elimination of shortage of teachers for students of the classes 9th and 10th in the state school. The unemployed have reportedly knocked on the doors of the Deputy Chief Minister and Education Minister with the demand to appoint all qualified candidates. जे आशा नहीं ऐसे चला मैं तो आमादे एडुकेशन मिनिस्टर आमादे शनमने और रोतोंगन में सर एकों नाई स्टेशन तो आम्रा एकों शुरुआत तो सर इस हफ्ते मीट करे थी अब उन्होंने खूब सुंदर हो गया आमादे को बुझे चें बाम पॉजिटिव एक तरह रेस्पोंस दिए चें जेटा तो आम्रा खूब ही खुशी अब उन आमादे खुशी on Friday, in the absence of the State Education Minister, unemployed individuals from the STGT went to the Minister of Information, Culture, Sushant Chaudhary, to discuss issues about recruitment this morning. At the end of the discussion, the individual said the discussion with the Information Minister was successful. He came out of the residence of the Minister with a smile on the basis of assurance that everyone would be employed following all the rules and regulations. However, no assurance was given when their demands would be fulfilled. You know, Minister Amit Shah, who is on a three-day visit to the Northeast on Friday, said that the region was only considered a tourist destination before Narendra Modi became Prime Minister. Shah noted that the real development of the Northeast began only after Mo Modi took over the office of the Prime Minister in 2014. The remarks of the Home Minister came at a cooperative dairy conclave. 2022 of eastern and northeastern regions. In 75 years of independence before Narendra Modi became the PM, the Northeast was considered only a tourist destination, the Home Minister said. After he became the PM, the real development of the Northeast began, Shah said. <laughs> फिर से एक बार आकर मैं आप सभी को प्रदेश के दूर दूर पश्चिमी क्षेत्र के सागर किनारे के राज्य गुजरात से आता हूं मैं आपको गुजरात की ओर से एक बात बताने आता हूं बताना चाहता हूं जब कभी भी गुजरात में सिक्किम का नाम लिया जाता है बड़ी गर्मजोशी प्यार और सम्मान के साथ हिमालय राज्य में पंद्रह साल पहले कौन कल्पना कर सकता था कि देश भर की कॉपरेटिव डेरी की कॉन्क्लेव भी यहां पर संभावना हो सकती है आज जब भाषण में मैंने सुना दो लाख लीटर दूध प्रतिदिन सिक्किम के अंदर हमारे छोटे छोटे किसान भाई बहन उत्पादित करते हैं तब मन को एक प्रकार की शांति और आनंद दोनों का अनुभूति होता है क्योंकि दूध उत्पादन एक मात्र रास्ता है गरीबी उन्मूलन का और किसान की आय को दो गुना करने मैं गुजरात के कार्यक्रम में गया था अमूल का कार्यक्रम था चेयरमैन साहब बैठे हैं अमूल के एक माई को मंच पर लेकर आए हवाई चप्पल पहनी थी सिग्नेचर करना आता नहीं था अंगूठा लगाती थी मैंने कहा माई कितने का चेक आज मिलने वाला है तुझे 
उसने कहा एक करोड़ छत्तीस लाख एक करोड़ छत्तीस लाख रुपया एक महिला जिसको अंगूठा लगाना पड़ता है उसको चेक मेरे हाथ से दिया है मैंने हमारे सचिव को कहा है कि फोटो को सहकारिता मंत्रालय में लगाना जिससे जो भी सहकारिता मंत्रालय में आता है उसको सहकारिता का एक चमत्कार मिलता है तो महिलाओं का सशक्तिकरण भी हो इसके साथ जो गैस उत्पादन होता है वो पर्यावरण की मदद करता है जो गोबर उत्पादन करता है वो प्राकृतिक खेती में मदद में आता है और हमारी प्राकृतिक खेती व्यक्ति के स्वास्थ्य को भी सुधार सकती है अब मुझे बताइए भाई एक ही काम करने से आठ काम अगर एक साथ होते हैं तो करना चाहिए या नहीं करना चाहिए जरा जोर से बोल मगर ये आठों काम तभी हो सकते हैं कि डेयरी की व्यवस्था कोऑपरेटिव हो प्राइवेट क्योंकि प्राइवेट होगी तो माई को बिचारे को कुछ रुपया मिल जाएगा और कुछ नहीं अगर कॉपरेटिव व्यवस्था होगी तो जितना मुनाफा आता है वो सीधा वो महिला के बैंक अकाउंट में जमा हो जाएगा और मुनाफे की मालिक वो गरीब महिला Agri and Allied Departments Government of Nagaland organized one day workshop today to promote entrepreneurship culture in Nagaland at Rododendron Hall to Mukedima. The workshop was sponsored by Ministry, Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, Government of Nagaland. Speaking to Onbil TV Agriculture Production Commissioner Waiki Kheto Sema said, Nagas have to learn a lot in business sector. There is a school for fishery cluster, there is a school for tourism club together in this scheme. Cluster CFC we can develop in tourism and Pangti village is very famous for falcon birds. Tourism attraction we can combine Manipur, Assam, Meghalaya, all these things in the circuit. We have to link with the National Tourism Department so that ours as a festival area, festival culture are there everywhere. So we can go for that one. After 12 days of agitation and 8 days of hunger strike, the Dog Teachers Group ANATD 2015 has finally called off the agitation on Friday after the meeting with the representatives of state government. After the meeting, it was resolved to set up a high-powered committee headed by Principal Secretary or Commissioner Secretary within 15 days and submit its recommendation by June 2023 and thereafter take up the issue to resolve the matter of ANATD 2015 batch within December 2023. Service extensions will continue till the matter is resolved. However, this dispensation will not apply to proxy and untrained teachers. It also resolved the grant of 7th ROP based on the recommendation of the HPC, ANATD 2015 batch and ANSTA members will be given opportunity to present their case before the HPC. The HPC shall have a review meeting every two months. And the final day of the agitation and the hunger strike called by the Anaji 2015 batch in demand for our service regularization. And 
the government invited us for a meeting today and we have been sitting for the meeting. Basing on this, uh, the, the agreement that we have agreed upon today, uh, we, shall, we shall be, uh, because one of the clauses says that the Anad G 2015 batch and ANSTA members will be given the opportunity to present their case before the HPC, so things like that. Uh, the HPC will be formed and then we'll also be, we'll also, and was also uh, attended by Dr. Uh, KV Rio and we had uh, Mr. Uh, Misato Koso, the uh, chairman of the advisory board of ANSTA and yes, we also had the ANSTA president, Mr. Kajito Sumi. So in that meeting, uh, we have agreed upon five points, and those five points are more to do with the regularization process. And yes, uh, the last Friday we had a meeting where the proposal for the HPC came to us, but we rejected uh, formation of the or the setting up of the HPC purely on the notion that the HPC was rather taking too long. For that, uh, we will be having a review meeting every two months. So yes, it was a very successful meeting today. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Real TV.